Hi, I'm Stephen with FutureLooks.com, and today we've got the second and final part of our Computex 2012 Taipei coverage. Today we're going to be looking at three more companies, as promised, starting off with Antec. They've got a couple of new cases that you're going to want to know about, including a small one that some of you media server guys will want to hear about. Han Lu, our favorite product marketing manager, is going to take us through some of these new cases. Take it away, Han. The look of this case is, uh, you know, very uh, generic for now, I should say, uh, because this is still a, a, a mock-up. What's good about this case is it is built with uh, all the private units. It has special space. It has the capability of putting two passwords together so you can hunt, this can power your hunger system. Or you can leave one password out and leave this space blank to put your extreme water cooling system. You know, 240 millimeters uh, radiators or 280, you know, uh, those gigantic uh, radiators you just ran on it. This one, you can put a 120 meter fan or a 140 meter fan here. Water cooling, roll mat, and this is an eight expansion, PCI expansion card, plus one expansion card here, so it's an eight plus one. And why we call it nickname? Antec reverse. Okay, let me show you. Because this case, you can reverse it. Okay. How can we reverse the case? Okay. You reverse, you rotate like this. Okay. Actually, you can reverse this case upside down. Okay. Why? Why? Steven, you must be asking why. Once you reverse this side, you have the coffee cup on the top. Some people care about their temperature of the coffee cup when they use this. Okay? Some, they don't. They care about their motherboard or their CPU. The, CPU is, the traditional CPU is at this position, so they can cool the CPU better. This is our NTAC mini home server chassis. Okay? See here? We have four 2.0-inch hot swap drive here. Okay, you have a pin here. This is a key. Okay. You open it. So you can put your 2.5 inch hard drive in and then you slide it back. You're done. You have vent here. Fresh air will come, come in from here. Go through the hard drive, go through the duct, and vent out from here. The fan spin very low speeds, so you won't be able to hear the noise. The fan here is to cool your assistance, okay? And also the fan here is the pass by fan. So each of the components got their dedicated fan to cool it. This is our uh, P280. Uh, we don't have uh, really have a name for it. I would call it P280 Extreme, or some people want to call it P280 Special. So let's say P280S. Nice aluminum from bezel. Okay, you open it and you can open 280 degrees. You can spin up here. Okay, you have a, a, a foam here, so it's, it's a three layer door. Aluminum, plastic, and the foam. Okay, so to make this you know, the case very quiet, nice deep You can open it up, put it back, two fan here. You have USB 3.0, USB 2.0, audio. Actually, we can take the door out, reverse to this side, so you can open from this side up. See this window go all the way around it? Actually, this plastic, transparent plastic window serves as a uh, genuine material to pry down the whole cases. Very rigid, very quiet. You also got two extra fans right after the hard drive cage to cool the longest graphic card. You have dedicated 2.5 inch hard drive tool here. Oh, by the way, uh, this one also you can put 2.5 inch hard drive here. Nine, you have nine expression, PCI expansion slot here. Hard drive here, you have a filter for the Housewife. This is a vent for the top fan, and it can be removed very easy. 
You have fan here, 220 million fan. You can put your radiator from top down, okay? See my hand? It can go in. So tons of cable management space. And that was Han Lu from Antec with some new products that you're going to want to look at in the next coming months. Moving onward, we're checking out some new things from Be Quiet, uh, actually just one new thing, but the other new thing is actually that Be Quiet is coming to North America. Last year when we talked to them at Computex, they were only in Europe, but now they finally decided, hey, you know what, North America, we're coming, the Germans are coming, let's see what they've got new at Computex 2012. Thanks, Stephen. Hi, we're over here at the Grand Hyatt uh, showing our Be Quiet booth uh, where we're talking today about our Dark Power Pro 10, our new power supply line that just started shipping last week. The model I have here, the Dark Power Pro 10 850 watt, is under 13 dBA of noise all the way up to 90% of full load. That basically means in a normal room, it's inaudible. You cannot hear your power supply running while it's powering your PC. Our Be Quiet fan uses a FDB or fluid dynamic bearing, which makes the fan life alone up to 300,000 hours. And no matter what people try to tell you about power supplies in terms of what affects power supply reliability, having a high quality fan is the most important part of uh, both long life for your power supply as well as silence. Other features uh, include uh, a minimal, uh, minimizing, I should say, of electrical noise. You read from a lot of power supply critics about coil noise or wind from capacitors. Be quiet meticulously engineers to eliminate all sorts of noises like that. Uh, we also have an overclocking key here that allows users to switch between multi-rail or single rail use, completely eliminating that argument whether multi or single rail uh, is the better design. It also has a separate fan controller for external case fans so that you can use the power supply to get very quiet uh, system noise on your uh, case fans. The Dark Power Pro 10 line starts at 550 watts and goes up to uh, 1200 watts. Uh, the 550 watt model is about $129 uh, in the US and the uh, 1200 watt will be approximately $269. That's it uh, from the Be Quiet booth. Please look into our Dark Power Pro 10, and thank you very much, and back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Scott. Scott Richard from Be Quiet, taking us through the new Dark Power Pro 10 power supply. Pretty sweet looking unit. The company also makes other products like heat sinks and fans, so make sure that you check out last year's coverage for just a brief look at some of the things that they are known for. Hopefully, we'll see some more new products coming out this way in the coming months. Moving on, another company that's doing very well in North America is Rosewell. They've got some enthusiast level products that they're showing off at Computex 2012 and some really surprising ones as well. John and Jet from the company are going to take us through those. Take it away, guys. Hey, Stephen. Now uh, we are showing off our two models at Computex 2012 Rosewell. And now the first one is called Throne. The door is pushed to open. and. Uh, it allow you to choose which side you want to open. You can decide by yourself which way you prefer. Okay, and uh, let's go to the top panel, the top of mounted I/O, uh, two USB 3.0 and four USB 2.0. And uh, here you see two controllers. There's uh, two fan speed controllers. Each one controls three, so for six fans total. And the HDD docking, hard disk docking, uh, is allowed 2.5 and 3.5 hard disks. And uh, it's a very important feature from our store. It's a swingable half fins. You can close it to keep your dust away, or you can open it to increase your airflow. The side panel, we use a very big transparent window. The motherboard now you see is a Gigabyte XL80X motherboard. So this chassis can support two XL ATX and extended ATX motherboard, both. This year, we bring in a very important feature into our case product line. It's here. It's a dual layers front fan. It's composed by 440 millimeter fans. Dual layers, this helps you to uh, carry in the cool air deeper. 
deeper to your graphic cards. And uh, on the top, on the top you can see 240 millimeter fan and 140 millimeter fan in rear. Armor is a very, uh, I mean, it's a very popular series. And now we have a new one, so we call it Evolution. Armor's main feature is a full mesh design. Almost the whole front panel is made by full mesh. Sun panel is one 230 millimeter fan, big fan. You don't want to buy a full tower so big, but you want to install a very extreme high-end gaming motherboard. Here it is. You can support up to extended ADX, and of course, the long VGA card, you can just put it in. You don't have to remove any hard drive cage. And uh, we also put the front dual layers front fan in this one. 120 millimeter, four. On top, you can see uh, now, it's 240 millimeter. And uh, you can replace it with 120. And of course, you can use some internal uh, water cooling system. We have three 80 plus platinum certified power supply. The first one is Taekyung. You can see it in this, in a very special design with modular. Uh, this, this model is a uh, 500 watt model, so only four connectors. If you need higher wattage, you will have eight module connectors. Uh, this series, uh, we applied fixed cable, no module, but still deliver very, very stable current. And uh, this one is my kind of special. It's an 80 plus platinum silent 9. It's only one model, it's a 500 watt, and it's non fan, totally non fan. So, uh, noise free, you don't, you don't have to worry about any noise. Especially, good idea for your tablet, your uh, HTPC. And this is also a module, module design power supply. It's just 80 plus server, but it was a monster 1600 wattage output. This one. Thank you, this. And with a big fan and the module, you can see so many modules. Uh, especially, check this out. So many PCIe's, PCIe connectors. Why? Let me tell you why. Because this power supply we provide 16 PCIe connectors. That's especially for EVGA SRX motherboard. Apart from the gaming case and power supply, I would also like to introduce you our RK9000 Ivory Edition. It comes with all different cherry switch, blue, brown, and red. Here, I also like to introduce our new mechanical keyboard. It comes with three different backlights, red, white, and blue. There's three different lightning modes. Also, there are four different light levels you can adjust. It also comes with three different cherry switch, brown, blue, and red. And that was John and Jet from Rosewell taking us through some of the company's more enthusiast level products. And hopefully we'll see more of that caliber of product from Rosewell in the next coming months and beyond. That concludes our Computex 2012 coverage. I know you guys are sad. Uh, I am too, but hopefully we'll have some more written articles up for you on the site in the next couple of days, all right? So please subscribe to your channel if you like what we do here. My name is Steven with futurelooks.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.